All right, everybody, it's time for tonight's special guest. She came in here from Florida. She's a teen broadcaster, and she's been syndicated all over the world on radio. Please put your hands together for Pavlina Asta. <laughs> Welcome, Pavlina. Thank you. So glad to have you here, and thanks for coming up from Florida. Yeah, totally, anytime. anytime. I'm glad you came uh, during the summertime where it's warm, because if you came this past winter, yeah. <laughs> That's when yeah. all of us wanted to move to Florida. <laughs> and my Actually, dad, who's 90, I don't know why he didn't. Why not, Dad? I love snow. He loves snow, no. <laughs> He'll tell you off camera, it's because of my mom. Pavlina, <laughs> let's tell everybody, now you got the radio show, it's called... Pavlina's Kids Place. Yes. It's syndicated on radio. We're talking about 17 radio stations. And before we get into what the show's all about, I wanted to ask you, because it's a great story, how did you get started in all this? Yes, okay, well, I was 11, and I was playing steel drums, you know, on the beaches of Daytona um, with my steel drums. And then I was getting interviews by like, local radio stations, and one of the radio managers was like, you should start your own radio show. So I was like, okay, that's cool. And, yeah. and you did. Yeah. <laughs> then, that's fantastic. So. How about this? <laughs> I've always said that musicians are very intelligent and good on camera. And look what happened to her. She was just playing the drums on the beach. And she's on in more stations than me. <laughs> yeah. So let's tell everybody, what's Pavlina's Kids Place all about? Well, I interview celebrities on location, and I've interviewed over, over five, like almost 500, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, play their songs, if it's a musician or something, and I'll, I'll talk to them and stuff, so it's fun. And you love this, and I know that yeah. your mom supports you in this, yes. and you guys travel all around. Mm -hmm. What's, uh, name some of the people that are famous that you interviewed so you can wow my audience here. Oh, yeah. um, oh my gosh, well, I really love, like, the legendary people because, like, history is, like, my favorite thing. So, mm -hmm. Pete Seeger, um, he's saying, give Pete a chance. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ed Sheeran is a lot of fun. You know, he's like one of the bigger ones. So mm -hmm. it's just like a bunch of people. Ed like Sheeran. That. Oh, do you mm -hmm. talk to Ed at all? Oh, he gave me a great, like a lot of great advice when I interviewed him. But great. Yeah. If you so. got his number, <laughs> call him up. I will. <laughs> if he'll come to Boston and play on a, a little cable access show that airs in 16 countries. We, I'll do that. Uh, you have done some cool stuff. In fact, you you broke a, a Guinness World Record. What what did you do? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I, I'm from Port Orange, and I stood in front of a Walmart for 24 hours, and I interviewed 347 people. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a hard enough time trying to get four people to come to a show <laughs> one night a week. 347 people. Did you send out an email or something? How did yeah. you get them all to show up? Yeah, well, I, you know, obviously I told a bunch of people about it because it was a lot of planning and everything. Um, but yeah, it was also just, I did it around Thanksgiving and then obviously Walmart, a lot of people were going through anyway, so they just started lining up and I was like, hey. <laughs> so. That's fantastic. Thank you. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> so if I were to interview 348 people, I would have the Guinness World Record and you would not. Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Katrobus, get my email ready, will you? All right. No, I have no plans of taking that away from you. You earned that. I'll just stay with this little cable show. You, you've won uh, a Gracie Award. How about yes. that, everybody? A Gracie Award. And uh, we, we know these are awards that uh, create programming for women, by women, about women. And uh, you had an interview, and, and you won the award for it. What was it? Um, my Gloria Steinem interview. Mm -hmm. So it, that was for last year. And then this year, I won one for my Erica Farber interview. So, well, yeah. How about that, everybody? <laughs> so you got two Gracies. Yes. Now, I'm not sure if you know about the Greek Awards. <laughs> You could interview me, and you might yeah, win a Greek award. Totally. Yeah, totally. <laughs> now, what's what's going on here? I, I've got some props, first of all, and I want okay, to mention yes. that that you wrote a book and you've won this uh, Girl Scout award. Yes. First of all, tell me what the the award is. It's the Girl Scout Gold Award. Mm -hmm. So it's like the highest honor for Girl Scouts and everything. So I was like, oh, that's crazy. And, and you are a Girl Scout? <laughs> yes. She has any cookies? My something. wife loves the cookies. Yeah, I can totally get you some cookies. You, I'll you, hook you up. Did you? My, my, my yes. wife likes the peanut butter ones and all. Oh that. yeah, the peanut butter patties yeah. and all this other uh, stuff. I'd give you an award right now yeah. if I could. <laughs> But let, let's see. We got my dad has the book here. Okay, oh, here it is. Yes. It's called uh, "Talk to Me: mm -hmm. uh, The Road Trips of a Teen Celebrity Radio Host." Yes. And there it is, Pavlina Asta. Yeah. 
Kind of cool to have your own book and Thank your own you. radio show. Yes. And you're yeah. only like 18 years old. 17, but I'll almost be, I'm almost 18. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's not too shabby, right, everybody? <laughs> and, and I wanted to show this as well. This is your, your Guinness World Record. Now, mm -hmm. they, they gave you a, um, a, a picture or, or a plaque here. Yes. Yep. This is what you, and Mr. Guinness gave that to you? Well, um, they sent it to me since they're in London, but yes. <laughs> so. That's great. How about that, everybody? Yeah. And I, and I know my mom has a prop, too. What do you got here, Dad? What is, uh, okay, don't lose this. This Is this your Gracie? That's my Gracie, yeah. How about that, everybody? That's your Gracie. We got, you know what? You, you always know when you have a fantastic guest because they bring props. They bring props. Uh, before we go, I want to mention this thing about Steve Harvey. Yeah. Uh, found out about you, and he wanted you to do some red carpet interviews. Mm -hmm. Something to do with Disney. What is it? Yes. Okay, so he always has the Disney Dreamer program, um, you know, which is at Disney in Orlando. So mm -hmm. I was like, hey, backyard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so last year, I was one of the Disney Dreamers. Out of 10,000, you know, people that apply, they choose 100, and I was one of those. And then this year, you know, you can't do Disney Dreamers twice. So I was part of the media, and then they were like, hey, you should be one of our interns for the um, Neighborhood Awards. So I'll be in charge of the red carpet and all those other media, and I'm like, hey. Oh. So, <laughs> You're doing a lot of good things. I remember talking to my producer, Oprah, about this, and, and we were talking about you, and I said, I think this is the next Oprah. I really do. This oh is my the God. next <laughs> You know, because... You can start doing something when you're young and do it your whole life and go a lot of places with it. And you obviously love to do this. I yes. want to once again mention the book. Now, you have the website. Um, it's actually on Amazon. And okay, you just this type is on in Amazon? Yep. Yeah. And mm -hmm. what's your website, your personal website? It's pavlinaasta.com. Every social media site, it's all Pavlina Asta. Fantastic. Yeah. The book, once again, <laughs> Talk to Me. The Road Trips of a Teen Celebrity Radio Host. We're yes. so glad <laughs> and honored that she came up here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Pavlina Asta. Thank you so much. For All right. We'll be right back right after this.